number one. Number two. Er. Number three. I. 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 Number four. Number five. I hear everybody. Number six. Ah. Number seven. F. F. Number eight. E. E. Number nine. <laughs> Number ten. O. Oh. Oh. Number eleven. If. If. Number twelve. <laughs> Number thirteen, A. A. Number fourteen. Number fifteen, mm. I can hear one person saying the letter now. Can you repeat the sound and say the letter? Are you ready? Number sixteen. Oh, oh, oh. Thank you. Much better. Number 17. Woo. B. Much better. Number 18. Mmm. Mm. Oh, oh. Number 19. Uh. Uh. You. So 20. What? Try getting off again. Twenty one. Oh, 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 oh. Twenty one. Twenty two. Sorry. Yeah. Twenty three. Yeah. Twenty-four. You. You. And you can say it again. You. 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 Because you're just say, you're saying the sound, and then you're saying you said that sound. Twenty-five. B. Uh, what? B. B. What sound is B? That's why you have to repeat. Are you ready? D. Twenty seven. Twenty eight. Bingo. Thank you, guys. I'm so happy to have you in the And last one. Go. Okay, boys and girls. Flip your paper over, and we are going to do a spelling high frequency word practice. Put okay. your finger on number one. Spell the word clip. Clip. Go ahead and repeat. Clip. Like I will clip my fingernails. Clip. Number two. Repeat the word felt. 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 Oh, I like I felt the smooth oh, surface yeah. of my desk. Oh, yeah. Sound it out. Number three. Repeat. Lost. We're not repeating very well. Number three. Repeat. Lost. 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 Sound it out, write it. Boys 
and girls. Okay. Sight words. They're going to get hard. Are you ready? Is it okay to spell them wrong or not know how to spell them at all? Yes. You will just do it with your red pencil when you're done. Do you understand? Yeah. Number one, today. Or I'm sorry, number four, today. Four is today. Try to do your best. Today. Think about how you spell two. Yeah. How do you spell day? Two words and put them together. Take two words and put them together. Take two words and smash them together. I realize it's over there. Hey, are you ready? Number eight. Tomorrow. Number five. Yes, number five. Tomorrow. Two. Mar. Row. Two. Mar. Row. Do three vowels. Two. Mar. And what's the next one? Number six? Yeah. Okay, if you don't know how to spell it. Okay. It's Number right. six. Together. Now, the other class that I had last year remembered this by this way. To get her. To? To get her. Three words, but all together. Together. To. Spell the word to. And then get, and then her. That's how you spell together. Yeah. To get her. Sounds like when you sing it like a teacher. Mm -hmm. But T H T H does, and not her. Right? Okay. Red pencils out. You will correct these. Okay, boys and girls. Here's a word. I know. Okay, how many vowels does this word have? How many vowels? Two. 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 Okay, there's a vowel right here and a vowel right here. The A and the I, right? Okay. Who remembers what a syllable is? What is it? It's the vowel and the word. It's a syllable, it is a word part containing one vowel sound, right? The vowel sound. It's a part of a word that has the vowel sound. Okay. When we have a word with more than one vowel sound, we have a word with more than one vowel sound, okay? It tells us that the word contains more than one syllable. Whenever we have a word that contains more than one syllable, we must divide the vowels into syllables before we can code the word. To do this, we write a small b under each vowel, which I did for you, okay? This is the beginning of a vowel pattern. A vowel pattern of letters is in a word that begins and ends with a vowel. There are no vowels between the, vo between the vowels that begin and end the pattern. Let's look at this vowel pattern. You see these two v's, right? Okay? We will look between the two vowels. What letters are between the two vowels? F, F. F, F. Okay, let's, now F's are what kind of letters? They're what kind of letters, Liam? Consonants. Consonants. We are going to write two C's under the consonants between the vowels. Just the ones between the vowels, not the ones on the outside, okay? Okay. Now we have a vowel, consonant, consonant, vowel pattern. Vowel, consonant, consonant, vowel. Okay? We call this V, C, C, V. Okay? V, C, C, V. The V, C, C pattern. The best place to divide a word is between the two consonants. So, we would divide this word between the two F's. Okay? This divide line is called a division line. It shows us where the syllables are in the word. This word has two syllables. 
When a word has more than one syllable, we put an accent mark on the one of the sides of the syllable to show the syllable is accented. Remember, the accent is a part of a word that is longer, louder, and higher. The best place for the accent mark in this word is right before the division line. Okay? One important thing to remember when coding words is that we always code vowels with syllables, within syllables. Look at the letter A. Is it followed by a consonant in the syllable? Yes. It's followed by a consonant. Therefore, what kind of letter would this be? What would we code the A? It would be a breathe. breathe. It is a short A, right? Okay. Look at letter I. It is followed by a is is it followed by a consonant in this syllable? Yes. yes, so this is also mm -hmm. a breeze. Okay. Does this word need any other coding? K back on the C. K back on the C. Yes. K back on the C. Okay, now if we can, let's read this. If we know this says a, that says i, t, er, a, Do that. 